Hello, this is not a spring chicken. I'm so happy because, okay, today we've been talking about it. We've gotten the artwork. We've been getting everything ready. We are launching Evil Twin Comics right now. What we've got is the bikinis, our autography page, showing panels from Bikini Evil Twin Comics. And, of course, okay, we've got things in the works for you. It's coming, it's coming, it's coming, but you're beginning to see some of the artwork from it coming out right now. No, is this like building up press? Oh, okay. Well, for now, we're going to bring old Cam on with comments on the headlines of today. And it's all over for the Republicans. Well, yeah, they said there's, that they expected to lose most of the states that they won under McCain because the, Rep because the people are going to be up in arms over Paul Ryan. Well, no. Paul Ryan was picked because the base of the party was not going to support Romney, if without Ryan, Rom there is no presidential campaign, folks. <laughs> like they don't care about it. They already gave up on the presidency. This is the win of the Senate. If they take the Senate, Obama is finished. And that's the whole plot now. Ooh, and 3D printer could build a house in 20 hours. There's a word is could. It, no. But what is it? It's like... They got, okay, they got to... Okay, what it is is it, it can't build anything. You still have to... Okay, in Obama's words, that can't... You know, it takes... A, a city to build a house. No, it's basically a conceptual thing that the printer can actually do all the printing, and then the printing it, it does all the cutting, all of this, all of that, and you still can't put it together in 20 hours. There's no human crew possible that can do that because it has to have inspectors. Ooh, and Romney to blame for a Texas gunman. I know they said that. How the, in the world is that? Well, because Romney, uh, Romney was re Romney supports big business, and big business evicted the person from his home. And if he hadn't, if he'd have been given his home for nothing, like Obama wants, there'd have been no shootings done. So therefore, Romney is responsible for the death of three people. Now, that's what they said this morning. Mm. And former border agents convicted in smuggling ring. I know. Basically, they got anything that Obama can do to try to. Uh, they stop the people. He basically, this is a lesson. If you complain to complain about anything, you're going to be uh, tossed into a jail cell for years to teach you a lesson. And farmers expect porous corn crop in a decade. Well, that happens. It's called the weather. And they have good years and they have bad years. And I've never seen a farmer that didn't have more bad years than they had good years, except for the ones that basically have their own supply of water, and those people always do well. Mm -hmm. And U.S. Israel at odds over Iran new program intelligence. Well, yeah, the Obama people say there's no problem. They're, you know, they're not doing anything, even though the entire world knows what they're doing and where they're doing it. Obama can't believe that the Iranians would do it because they told him they weren't. And psychiatrists warned university about accused Colorado gunman report. Uh, no, she didn't because if she had a they would have this part her. So, oh, that's right. And Obama defends American patriot Huma Abedin. You know, he's doing this every day because the problem is she basically supports the over, I think she overthrows of all of these governments in the Middle East and replacing them with mo strict, mo strictly Muslims who would never allow her to be in the position she. This is what gets me. These women are all doing this stuff for governments that would never allow them to be in the positions they're currently in in the United States. Mm -hmm. And Obama spokesman declines to repudiate cancer ad. Well, no, I mean, they're, they're, they, they can't get it through their heads. It was a stupid thing to do. They, 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 they've been caught in the fact that they actually ran, this guy ran in a campaign ad for him four years ago, and in May, he was with the people in the Obama campaign talking about what the plans were with the super PAC, which is totally against the law. They caught him breaking the law, and they're trying to say, well, that's not relevant because this is Obama. Mm. And Sunday talk show sparring over Paul Ryan. Oh, they're still sparring over Ryan. It's the most ridiculous. He's going to cost Romney the election. No. Romney was not even the nominee. That's why they keep saying, if there's nobody, if nobody is going to be there in nomination, you're not the presumptive nominee. Which meant he, they basically uh, laid out the law to him yesterday in a long thing about the fact that they could still bounce his butt out. Well, this morning he got tough with Obama. You know, he almost did. They said he almost rose a finger up. And Ooh. then he decided no. I don't do that sort of thing, so it's all right, President. You can call me and my, my call my wife a slut, call my daughters hookers, and 
Well, you know what I'll say is I'll say thank you for telling me what they really were. <laughs> well, he, he doesn't. He will not stand up. He has totally no backbone, which is why the Republicans will not. How in the world did he become, did he become a leader in the first place? He isn't a leader. He is basically a businessman that knows how to make money, but he leaves other decisions to other people. Oh. So why, when, when he said he doesn't know what goes on at a certain level, that's the absolute truth, which means... He, he just makes decisions? He doesn't... He, 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 he tells you how businesses are, should be ran. He's a conceptual He's person. He's a conceptual, like Just a like consultant he person. He said, in other words, if you elect him, you get Obama, except the Republican version. Mm -hmm. And uh, Obama opens his home to sh uh, Chicago home to supporters. Yeah, they're holding, they're holding rallies for him. Okay, Obama this morning, Obama, the people are really worried about the fact that Obama cannot, and he goes into places and they're two-thirds empty and they're making, they're now starting to put them in smaller venues, you know, like people's backyards and stuff to hide the fact that... That's were, really small because by the time you have a Secret Service men and stuff, there's not that much yeah, space. but they need to have the places filled. They can no longer fill auditoriums or parking lots. So now they're having to go to end of this way. They're doing things in, in, uh, in restaurants and people's backyards in order to keep it away from the fact that nobody... No, they don't know. They don't want this guy, but they're stuck with him because they can't say, well, you know, what they should have done was ran a candidate against him and then he would have been gone. They've done that in the past in both parties. Anybody remember Teddy Roosevelt? Or, um, or how about um, Grover Cleveland, who got bounced after his first term and then came back and won a second term after he'd been out for eight years? And USS Porter collides with oil tanker in the Persian Gulf. Yeah, and um, they, they say that uh, well, actually what happened, the tanker hit us, and they're claiming we hit them. It was, it was a provocative action, so. Mm. Axelrod says Ryan Pick should trouble the middle class. Why? Well, he has no, no one can understand any of this stuff. He's not raising anybody's taxes. If you're not raising taxes, how does that hurt people? They're cutting taxes. And they say, well, it's going to favor the upper class. Well, yes, because they pay the most taxes. If you pay the most taxes and you cut taxes for all those people that actually pay taxes, it favors the people that are paying the taxes. That's, that's, that's called Economics 101. Story 101st Airborne marks the 70th anniversary. Yeah, you know, they, they basically they, they're, I think they're now the 101st Cav or Air Cavalry now, not actually the Airborne anymore because they don't, I don't think they've jumped out of an airplane, God knows when. They land by, they've been landing by helicopter since Vietnam. Some rain relief from drought storm on horizon. Yeah, not much. Okay, it's, it is irrelevant. The crop is gone. What they're now doing is getting ready to winter crop, and they'll know. The, okay, winter wheat will grow because it always rains and snows in the winter, so you'll have a winter crop. The thing is that farmers basically, uh, what happens is these people are doing two crops on land that was only meant for one crop a year. You're supposed to plant one crop, let it lay fallow for the winter, and then plant another. What they're doing is they're double cropping, and it, it's. Well, a lot of what is wrong is because they've exhausted the system. Ooh. And San Bernardino, California, filed for bankruptcy with over $1 billion in debt. Well, don't worry. The unions have went to court to say you can't file for bankruptcy. Oh, they did? Yeah, they said, it's ra here's what, you raise taxes and that will solve the problem. No, they raise taxes and that's what caused the problem. Ooh. And Erskine Bowles on Paul Ryan, I'm telling you, this guy is... That's a Democrat, folks. Mm. He was on the he was on Obama's Deficit Commission, which he totally ignored because they they're saying the same things that uh, Ryan said. Ryan was also on a Deficit Commission, of which Obama completely ignored. Oh, he was. Yep. Oh, good. Federal appeals court sides with Texas against EPA. Well, you know, they said that you can't. They're, they're, they know that the business cannot meet Obama's rules. So they're going to put, I think, 130 coal plants out of operation and shut most of the oil refineries in the state in order to make certain that people would be able to uh, uh, could work at, at jobs that weren't hazardous to their health. They, they didn't work any jobs when they got done. And uh, rumor, iPhone 5 pre-orders to start September 12th? That's the rumor. Uh, the rumors are the iPhone 5 is a dud. That's the main rumor.
Anna Monty bubbleism from the March Twain of the Animal Kingdom. Uh, sometimes it takes a lot longer than you think it's going to take in order to get your forms filled out that need to be filled out in the day's modern age.